back this video we move to chapter 8 uh, during the last chapter in the left you can see we practice and learning how to use a for loop to make a repeatable uh, modeling so you you have one small the car and you can keep whatever the way um, with this uh, repeatable and make this uh, uh, the looping work uh, then you don't need to repeat uh, build copy paste your code many times uh, and for this more uh, chapter we will learn some more interesting things is the re rotationally extruding 3d objects from uh, 2d objects that gave you a new way of uh, this uh, 3d uh, modeling uh, until now of till the chapter 7 we uh, we only build uh, the 3d modeling by 3d uh, the object, uh, but you may also uh, use this uh, nice way to build our 2D object and make this 2D go to 3D. So that is the increased dimension uh, with uh, either rotation or later we will see in the later parts uh, with the linear uh, extruding uh, to do this uh, uh, the count transformation. So. Uh, 2D to 3D uh, will give you some uh, the interesting uh, feeling. So let's uh, do this uh, together on chapter 8. The first is you can read uh, some of uh, the basic things. Uh, so uh, you have been, it's quite impressive when you consider that every model you have created so far make you just the three primitive. Uh, we only use the sphere, cube, and the cylinder. By combining these uh, primitive uh, types with transformation command, you can create uh, many kinds of the, the different models. But there are still models that cannot be created by using this uh, primitive alone. One such example is this one. So this uh, uh, kind of the wheel design, so you can consider we have the, uh, the cube, uh, cannot do this. We have this uh, cylinder, but cylinder here is a ring, so it's not like a cylinder, and uh, definitely sphere uh, cannot be made that resize or scale uh, to do this. Uh, for this, is we need to have some different uh, technique. So, require the creation of, of an object that uh, look like uh, this one. First, is uh, like a donut ring. Uh, uh, then. Uh, we have the middle uh, make that uh, a fix uh, the solid uh, inside then we get that uh, this uh, donut shape object cannot be created with any uh, the existing uh, the model technique we have instead is uh, we will require to use our 2d primitive uh, and new command to create that so let's uh, uh, practice on this so first uh, let me make our new model file then let's uh, save this to a new chapter chapter 8 and let's see chapter 8 part 1 1 what this is a circular profile so what we will do this is uh, first we give this uh, F100. You can use this as well. Uh, and uh, we give our wheel radius equal to 12. And tire diameter equal to 6. So then uh, we will have uh, this one. So first, uh, let's uh, try what the means. A circle. Circle is uh, D is the diameter, is the tire diameter. So let's uh, see what was we got. Let's uh, press this preview. It's uh, very small. So if we zoom in. You can see here, this is the circle. So we have one circle. So even it looks like our 
some thickness, but actually this is our 2D uh, shape. So thickness is uh, zero. So uh, what we will do is uh, we will translate this to some uh, different, let's see, so translate. You see, we use this uh, wheel radius minus uh, type diagram, a diameter divided by two. So we move this uh, to our, in the positive x, we move that. Uh, the reason uh, is uh, you will see uh, what's the, the is a rotate extruding is uh, we will make this 2D shape into 3D, and then they will have this uh, rotation. So first is we have this, uh, this file. Let's uh, save this and do the continue. So we will have this uh, second file called extruded donut. Uh, we will use uh, this uh, first one to make our 3D. So keep this one. So then we add this uh, new sentence. Rotate. Yeah, you can see the rotate underscore extrude. Uh, what's that? Means is uh, you gave our parameter is the angle. And since uh, here is a two sentence. Uh, they are using our curly braces, but let's see if we don't use that. It also can get that because this uh, translate is not our another sentence, uh, but it's, uh, this, this is uh, better. So if you use the curly braces, it's uh, fine. Uh, but what we are, we can examine this if we use uh, 60. What's that mean? This uh, can give us a better. So what's this uh, rotate extrude uh, working? So that is first you remember without this uh, this line. So let's see if we make this comment. Then our shape is uh, here. That is the two D. Rotate means is uh, they will uh, rotate uh, based on the current uh, this axle. So this uh, rotate in this uh, uh, x axle. Uh, First is uh, rotate the uh, 90 degrees, so make this uh, from horizontal to vertical. After that, they will start to uh, make this uh, rotation along this uh, Z XL. So that is uh, make from first is uh, become vertical, then go to 60 degree. So that is the uh, the purpose, uh, so if we say is I want this 190 degree, then that will be our uh, one fourth uh, donor. So it's coming here. Then if I see it's 180, so it's a half circle. Then what we are doing is uh, we are making our 360. Uh, the, it's just the one uh, fully the, this uh, circle. Uh, so you can read of this uh, here. So our 2D profile you plan to extrude should create on the XY plane. So it's no any uh, touch base into the Z, uh, the space. And uh, typically in the region with X is uh, positive. Define mathematically 2D profile usually reside when X plus uh, e, um, uh, more than uh, zero. Uh, and the Z equal to zero. So 2D profile always has a zero thickness. So that, that is the, uh, the 2D. Uh, and after we use the rotate extrude, you create a 3D. So this has the actual uh, the thickness uh, uh, inside. So that is the thing uh, we are making uh, this uh, donut. So we have, first we have uh, this in X, then we will make that rotate uh, into this uh, x y uh, x part. Uh, so the which is a result in this uh, rotate around the y. So if we see here, so how we can make this uh, rotate 
into y. Let's see. So rotate command take r to d. So if we make this to y, let's uh, change this copy. And I make this uh, part. If I first move this uh, to Y, go to Y, then let's uh, make this. So it's uh, here. Then if I do this uh, rotate circle in the Y, then that uh, cannot uh, do this uh, rotation. So what's the warning? No top level geometry to render. But actually, so we have this uh, move to Y. So uh, I uh, I think it's that will be uh, interesting is how this uh, will be result rotate along the Y. It plays this. Model was revolved around the uh, has been rotated up to align the Z. So that this is uh, uh, the interesting. So I I may need to investigate. So it's not do like this, but let's uh, make this uh, uncommon. And see, we have this one. Uh, so we, we can do the uh, another way. So uh, we do the rotate. Uh, let this uh, now is uh, uh, x. Uh, and if we put that is, uh, uh, in the x, uh, it's a 90, 0, 0. That, that uh, should be coming to here. Uh, but they, this is actually uh, not what I uh, I want to show here because this one uh, looks like it's directly from the 2D go to the Y uh, Excel. So uh, this is uh, just uh, our workaround. So you can see uh, like that way. But uh, this I will uh, let you know in the next video. So let's uh, continue. So those uh, these two parts we already investigate. Uh, now is uh, let's do the exercise complete the new wheel. So we need to put uh, something inside. So that inside is a cylinder. So if you see here, so we will add our cylinder inside this. These are the just this uh, rotation. So uh, let's uh, save this and uh, create our uh, the third file. Third file is a rounded wheel. So later on, we will add this uh, into our uh, vehicle parts. So what we will do is just after this one, we add our cylinder. Cylinder is uh, H, is this uh, wheel radius. Now we have this one, R is this uh, uh, wheel radius. Minus uh, tire diameter divided by two, and we give this uh, center equal to true. So now, if I draw like this, let's see, it's uh, quite big, but we see which one is we will uh, have that. We don't have this uh, wheel width. So here, so H is a uh, width, not a uh, radius. Not so big. So you see, you get this one same as this uh, exercise. So, uh, and then the last example is uh, how this uh, rotate. So, oh, that that is the same as uh, my workaround. So, 
it just uh, used uh, another 3D uh, rotate, not the 2D. So I suppose is uh, I can move the uh, that 2D circle to Y axis, or then make that directly uh, create this uh, vertical uh, rotate. But uh, that that is uh, not the case. So uh, let, let's uh, use the, this uh, create another file. with this uh, vertical. So what's the vertical means is uh, we will add uh, our rotate all together. So rotate 90, 0, 0. But after that is uh, we will use these uh, curly braces to make these two all together. Then we see here, you get this uh, uh, tire uh, or wheel in the vertical uh, parts. Uh, so that, that is the uh, uh, way so we have uh, uh, making this way. Uh, and then it's, uh, in the next video, we will go to uh, making uh, some more tires, uh, but we uh, stop here. Thank you.